Hello, everyone. Just have to double check and make sure I'm not muted. Another couple of times on Street Labs. Okay, so just a quick test. Sounds good. Okay. So. Uh, G-Man apparently is doing pre-trials holding atheists for session uh yeah it's incredibly cringy uh i sat through it and watched it on uh geek room's channel figured i'd go ahead and give him a little bit of view credit but i'm just gonna kind of skip around because it's it's very not good. So the first the first thing is that right there. So let's there we go. Okay. So first thing I want to point out. He's got this little banner going on the bottom of the screen right here. It says the fool is hard said there is no God. So apparently he's trying to automatically he is automatically dehumanizing atheists. Okay. I'm going to point out that it's interesting that the word fool seems to only have that context in regards to religious texts. In any other context, a fool is somebody who believes things when they don't have any reason to believe them. So, sorry, Gina, but that right there is one thing that uh, you really need to understand. He entirely fails to do this, but, you know, this is actually something interesting that he decides to do right in the beginning of the thing and then never do it again. I'm going to point out right here because I just absolutely find it hilarious. Okay, I'm going to back that up just a few seconds because uh, that was definitely worth hearing again. Oh, 
Okay. So, G Man, when you admit to being a horrible person and you are holding something like uh, pre trial that's not hyphenated or any of the other issues that you have, um, I, I really hate to tell you here, but this isn't pot meat kettle anymore. This is the pot calling the silverware black. Okay. Uh, the reason why atheists say that you're a horrible person is because you're a horrible person. I mean, you defend slavery in the Bible, uh, which is incredibly hypocritical. Um, you seem to think that uh, it's analogous to indentured servitude, which I have no idea where you got that one from, because uh, you seem to be the only person that thinks that way. Uh, yeah, so the thing is, is the entirety of uh, atheism in the long run here is not really all that great. Uh, I mean, you seem to have it through your head here that, uh, you know, because it says in your book that everyone's a horrible person which it doesn't actually say that, but yeah, how would I know? I'm, yeah, I've only read your Bible three times, but you know, you seem to think that saying that everybody's a horrible person and then turning around and saying that, uh, you know, you're not as horrible because you have the holy righteousness of God or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it doesn't make too many, much difference to me. Uh, the thing is, is, you're you're not actually accomplishing anything here you're you know your entire theocracy is and uh your or your entire theology is that only god can judge people and yet here you are set up as judge jury and executioner apparently and it doesn't work that way i mean this isn't a court of law this isn't a court of general opinion i mean this isn't even a kangaroo court at this point in time this is i don't know what they call this because this isn't even a form of entertainment at this point this is like watching i'm i don't want to say it's like watching paint dry because i mean heck i've got i've got my 3d printer sitting up over here that uh you know i had to pause a a, a print so i can go ahead and make this response but, I mean, G-Man, you, you've really got to understand here that uh, th this is not how any court in the world works. I mean, it, it just doesn't. So, what I'd like to do is actually sit down and talk with you one of these days again and figure out what your main issue is okay uh i know that you somehow have this huge issue with atheists but yet at the same time you claim they don't exist you claim that we know god exists that we're just suppressing it in unrighteousness uh or we're just suppressing the truth in unrighteousness or whatever or whatever you want to call it that that particular day <laughs> well the thing is is that's not how that works. You're either convinced of something or you're not. And I mean, if you don't believe me, then I mean, heck, I challenge you to believe that your right ear is a piece of broccoli and tell me how long it takes you to be convinced of that. Uh, you know, you, you can you can say this stuff over and over again until you're blue in the face, but it, it just don't work, man. I'm sorry. So. See this right here? 
This is, this is that hypocritical thing right here that uh, we're talking about. You don't have to be a, whole, uh, a good person to identify somebody else as a horrible person. I mean, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, Hitler would have looked at Stalin and turned around and said that Stalin was a horrible person. I'm pretty sure that Hitler did that with quite a few, you know, Jews. Uh, that they were horrible people. I mean, it just really looks at your point of view. Uh, and from my point of view, G-Man, you're... I wouldn't say you're a horrible person, but you're... You're, you're towing the line on a piece of garbage here, buddy. I mean, you're, you're really towing that line. Uh, yeah, my channel's not monetized, so don't need twenty dollars. Whatever. Uh, I do this shit for a hobby. Now, the other stuff, preaching the gospel, I could care less because you know, yeah, it's it's a fairy tale book to me. Uh, the thing is, is oh, and G-Man, you're gonna love this. Uh, I got my morality out of a comic book, so yeah. Uh. That, that that conversation we had about altruism, yeah, where do you think I picked that up from? You take yourself out of an equation and uh, do everything for the betterment of other people. That's called a superhero mentality. Okay, the thing is, is you, you don't seem to understand that uh, you can learn from fiction. I have no issues with that. Okay, uh, I have no reason to believe that your book is a gospel. I have, you know, I mean, if you want to call it that, go right ahead. The thing is, is you want to live your life like that? You're not. I mean, you're you're more moral than your Bible, but uh, actually, I should say you're you're more moral this day and age, in spite of your Bible, because your the the Bible itself is full of immorality. But, you know, you, it's kind of hard for you to see the forest for the trees when you're busy looking at the dirt. Pause it right there. I am so glad that you added yourself to the docket after you said this right this right here, because that right there makes it even funnier. Not an atheist. Oh, so you're not going to give Dragon an opportunity to defend himself, so you're just going to basically put him on blast and, uh, and spout all kinds of crap. How Christian of you. He went after Kyle and uh, Bionic Vance primarily because they're gay. Again, how Christian are you, Gina?
this is kind of hypocritical that you're going to put yourself in Beckle on the docket, considering the the title of your thing is atheist free trial are atheist good people or just as horrible as they uh, the people they accuse. So, I mean, this was obviously an anti-atheist, sh you know, show that you're putting on. So, again, I mean, do, do you actually plan this stuff out or do you just kind of like fade in and out when you're talking uh, just. This is almost like talking to Peter Griffin. Ken Gillette. I'm aware that he's an atheist. But do you really think that he bothers to watch your damn show? Because I'm pretty sure he's got other things to do right now. Again, I'm pretty sure they have other things to do. I don't know a whole lot about Fat, Fit, and Geeky, but I'm fairly certain she's a Christian. But, you know, whatever. Nowhere have I ever heard of an atheist that thinks that everybody is a good person? Even secular humanism at its core says that humans are capable of being good people. It also says they're capable of being bad people. So your entire argument is this weird, twisted straw man that you can't even keep straight. Okay. Do I believe I'm a good person? Yes, I try to be. Uh, I I do cuss. Cussing for me is not really all that much of an issue. Uh, my 10 and 12 year old cuss, I have issues with that, but that's because it's a social issue, not a moral issue. Uh, let's see here. Um, I give to charity. I am currently helping a homeless person. I am, let's see if I can actually show this. I am currently printing off uh, coronavirus masks for uh, local delivery drivers in my town. That one is currently uh, going through a seal. Uh, it's got a silicone lip on it. That way it actually seals right. Uh, it's also the reason why I had to wait until 2 o'clock in the morning. I had to wait until that print was done. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, I'm taking time out of my day I'm taking my printing supplies and everything like that and I am donating to my community to the essential employees that don't manage to get days off because they have to deliver food or any other thing that is necessary so uh, not only am I printing off uh, you know reusable masks I'm also printing off uh, you know those ear saver clips because I can print those off by the dozen and yeah so I don't know you tell me am I a good person I try to be and not for fear of uh, eternal damnation or the expectation of a reward I do that because it's in need and, you know, oh, what was that line from Spider-Man? Uh, something along the lines of, uh, with power comes with great responsibility. If you have, if you have the power, uh, then you have the responsibility to use it for the right reasons. Okay, well, I have a very large 3D printer. That allows me to 
set my file, start printing, go to bed, wake up, get them off the base, and then take them down to the hospital or take them to Domino's or Papa John's or any other place that delivers. Okay. I do that because it's the right thing to do. Do I expect you get a reward out of it? No. I don't know a whole lot about Sabella and Bruce, but I'm fairly certain they're Christian. Simple answer, yes, they can be good without God. Are they good without God? That's a subjective matter. Simple as that, really. And because you claim that you were going to be using the Christian and the atheist worldview, then you might want to practice what you preach there, buddy, because if you're not going to go from both sides of the point of view, you may think that everybody on the planet is horrible, but guess what? They're not. Because from my point of view, which is an atheist perspective, uh, there are people out there that are actually good people. And the majority of them don't come from a church. Okay, I'm going to make a comment right here. Uh, if you've ever seen uh, Eddie Murphy in Arsenio Hall in uh, a movie back in the 80s called Coming to America, this right here sounds like one of Arsenio Hall's roles when he's playing as a preacher. And uh, there's, for some weird reason, a bikini contest going on. But, you know, he's got that, you know, I, I see this and I know there's a God. And, you know, he's starting to do that kind of stuff. This is really weird, and uh, I'm, yeah, that, I'm skipping that for uh, lack of views on Matt's channel. I'll be, uh, well, for to give Matt or to help Matt keep his uh, his views credit there, because yeah. At home. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Matt Delaney's claim was that he lives a loving life. Uh, if Christians live a loving life, then that's fine. That's awesome. Go good on you. Go for it. Okay. The only thing that atheists don't really love with regards to that is a God. 
So, yes, our love is similar to yours. I'm fairly certain, Jim, that you have a cat. I'm fairly certain that, you know, you love your cat. Okay. Uh, I have cats. I love my cats. I love my kids. I love my, I love my family. Okay. The only thing that I don't love is God because I don't believe in him. I don't love Satan either because I don't believe he exists either. So, I mean, this whole farce with Matt is ridiculous. Matt does not hate Christians. At least I've never actually heard him say he hates Christians. Uh, G-Man, the last time I uh, checked, you lived in New Jersey. Uh, you're not Matt's neighbor. Okay. Uh, I'm fairly certain that if it came down to it and you were stuck homeless in Austin, Texas, then Matt would have no issues putting you on the uh, on his homeless support list for uh, the atheist community of Austin. Okay because Matt's a fairly decent guy, okay? The problem is, is you are like trying to get all of this crap and take it to its, not even its next logical step. You're trying, you're trying to take it to its illogical extreme, okay? And that's the problem that you're having, okay? You turned around the other day and, uh, and chastised some guy named Jeff, I believe it was, that what was it? Oh yeah, because he said that drag was better than uh, drag was better than him. Okay, and you immediately turned around and said that you know he know uh, you you apparently accused him of lying, saying that uh, you know that drag was not better than him in every way or something like that. And then tried to sidetrack him into saying, you know, well, does Drag know your family better than you do? Does he know this and this and this and this and uh, better than you? Okay. No, if you're going to nitpick and stuff like that on every single claim that is made, then you've really got to. Mm, okay. For, first, what I want you to do is drop your pants, bend over, grab a hold of that stick and yank. Okay, because that thing needs to go. Okay. The main issue that you, I see that you have, G Man, is you don't pay attention. Okay. Not only do you not pay attention, but somehow, while not paying attention, you fixate on certain keywords. And that's what gets you in trouble. Because then your mouth starts operating before your brain properly engages. Okay, and this is the reason why the other day on the geek room, you got uh, you got conned into uh, that the new their newest soundbite saying that you like bukaki. Okay? Because I'm fairly certain you don't know what that is, or at least you didn't when you said it. Okay. If you've bothered searching it up. You'll understand why that's so embarrassing, especially because you're so anti LGBT. And one of the main issues that that I have with you personally, okay, it's not that you're Christian. It's not uh, the the issue that I have with you, G Man, is the fact that you somehow have this. While claiming you don't, you somehow have this God complex. And you don't have the proper intellect or vocabulary to actually manage to make it right. Okay, now, by make it right, what I mean is that you're doing this pre-trial, okay? knowing that the majority of not only the atheist community, but the Christian community disagrees with you.
Okay. You have several Christians on your docket. Um, I find that hilarious too, because uh, you, you seem to have issues understanding what the word docket means. Uh, but let's go ahead and Google that for you real quick. Okay, let's see here. Definition one, North American, a calendar or list of cases for trial or people having cases pending. The docket of the United States is the official summary of proceedings in the court of law. So, the official summary of proceedings, in other words, let's see. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, definitions of on the docket, which is something that you've used a few times already. United States, definition one, on a list of legal cases to be heard by a court, the judge had to postpone some of the cases on the docket. On a list of things to be considered by a group of people, such as a committee, the new library will be, for, uh, will be the first item on the committee's docket. Okay, so docket list. You have one docket on this, uh, on this pretrial so far. And that was, you were going to have Matt Dillahoney, uh, Dragnut, Pendulet, you know, Sabella, Bruce, and uh, Alex, and all these other people. Okay. That's your docket. Docket's done. Put it off to the side. Okay. Now, your first one was the case against Matt Dillahoney. No longer a docket. Your second one was the case against Drag. No longer a, a docket. Okay, you need to understand that when you're using a word, especially when you just looked it up, look at how it's used in a sentence, because otherwise you do not understand how inane you look. Okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have that complaint about true empiricism here in a little bit because uh, oh my god, the, the guy found out a new word allegations. Those are those are always fun. Matt Delaney has had quite a few Muslim callers call in, so that, that's completely an aid. He's also talked to deists and uh, various theists, including uh, a couple of them. I've even seen that he's talked to uh, solipsists. So, I mean, obviously solipsism isn't a religion, but still. Okay, he talks to the people that call him. The fact that America is a majority Christian country and uh, the fact that, you know, most of the Muslims that he's uh, that he's had call in have called in from overseas uh, means that they're not exactly all that concerned about him on the other side of the world. OK, so, yes, he does receive a, you know, the vast majority of Christian callers. They have lines dedicated to theist callers specifically so they don't just get a whole bunch of echo chamber atheists. Also, the atheist community of Austin is not a church. I should know. I'm trying to open one, and it's called Sunday Assembly. And even it's not considered a church. It's a 501, but it's just a charity, nonprofit organization. I'm really curious if he's still using that roll of tape. Liars are not good people. Man, that's going to be embarrassing. Let's see. Here.
Give me just a second. I want to see if I can find this. Because I did see something not too long ago. I'll let this keep playing while I uh, while I look for it. Let's see here.
I'm going to pull this up right here. Okay. Or I'm going to stop it right here for a second. Okay. I'm not really defending Greg because he doesn't really need defense, but I'm going to point out that Drag posts one, two, just a few videos a week, usually, especially when he's in school. Okay. G Man, you post videos way more than uh, Drag does. Okay. Drag has been on his channel specifically saying that he does this shit for fun. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I really see, you know, a gaming stream for Fallout 4, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 9, uh, you know, another Final Fantasy 9, uh, you know, Mrs. and Mr. D for, from the looks of it, another Final Fantasy 9. So he's got gaming streams, he's got all kinds of uh, shit on his channel, and yet, Supposedly, he spends his entire life making fun of you. No. Okay. He does... He does goofy shit all the time. He does it because he enjoys it. Okay. Do I agree with him? Not always. Okay, but I created my channel. Oh, wait. I created my channel, or at least split off from my uh, first channel... Because I was supposed to have a debate with you about morality, remember? And that was back in November, and it ended up being three guys on, on the damn channel sitting there talking about how abortion is a good or a bad thing. So, I mean, hypocrite? A little bit? Wow, he used it right on that one. He's on the docket. That's that that's he actually used the word docket correctly. He's never claimed to be a good guy. As a matter of fact, he's uh, flat out said that he's not. Multiple times. G-Man, I'm going to point out that uh, Drag was laughing at you for being homeless because your, your, your guys' beef goes back years, okay? I mean, I don't particularly find it funny. I'm fairly certain that there are other atheists that don't find it funny. Um, I can tell you that there were a lot of Christians that found it funny. You know, your, your little Fred Channy. But, you know, those are also the Christians that uh, are going to be the ones that, you know, throw racist slur at you. <laughs> back that up real quick G-Man the Ebonics is not your friend and your elk I really hope he was trying to say ilk um, yeah G-Man vocabulary dude you, you really need to understand it.
Try something real quick. Okay, hold on a second. Dillahunty, that was rather quick too, because we don't consider liars to be good people, right? <clears throat> Soft-spoken Satan, I will not be broadcasting you, sir. The next person on the docket will be Irate Alex. This is going to be kind of fun because um, a lot of the, a lot of people thought it was mean, and, and yes, okay. it was mean. It was very mean when I sat there and I poked fun at Revelation News. Um, uh, if, if you're a drag nut and you don't cut, I apologize if you uh, if you want to go back and watch his channel or whatever and kind of sync up where I was at uh, with what he was doing. <laughs> uh, I, I apparently missed really that little click on the audio tab. The camera on, you ain't coming in here. You only got about 45 more seconds. All right. So. <clears throat> this already. And we are going to look at this again. I have the picture saved on my phone because I didn't know he was going to delete this or not. It was not just a comment. Uh, and, and, and honestly, I think I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt since he's one of the worst of trolls here on the Internet. He made a little poster and I'm going to show you guys this real quick. That is the poster that he made. OK. So it's apparently a picture of Alex and, and G-Man as a little kid here. It says, so you see son or it says you see son grilling a good steak is a lot like your mom. Once it starts bleeding, it's time to flip her over to the brown side. Okay. G-Man, when you take jokes like this so weirdly, this is what adds fuel to the fire of people making jokes that you're still a virgin. <laughs> okay. Because this right here, in any given sense, is not racist in any way. This is an anal sex joke, okay? For this is an anal sex joke for a woman on her period. That's what this is, okay? And the fact that you have to be explained this is well. Actually, I take that back because I uh, just recently saw Fiona's video explaining uh, what busting a nut was to you. So. <laughs> Yeah. 
No, I guess it's not very surprising. Continue. That is the poster that he made. I want everybody to get a chance to read that. And this is what it says. You see, son, grilling a good steak is a lot like your mom. Like my mother, huh? Okay. Then he says, once it starts bleeding, it's time to flip her over to the brown side. Not only do I find this comment to be quite racist, but I also um, find it very interesting, ladies and gents, that he's talking about my dead mother. My mother, my, my, my mother died uh, a while back ago. Okay, and th that's what he did here. So, all right, Alex, I was actually going to give you a different verdict, my friend. Guilty as charged. Nobody is a good person. Again, G-Man thinks that he seems to be the you know, judge, jury, executioner, and you know everything else. Uh, his apparent evidence was his own misunderstanding of a joke. Yeah, you know, G-Man, I would love to see your... I'd love to see your docket of me. Just just throwing that out there. But yeah, that would be hilarious. Uh, when you talk about somebody's dead mother and it's actually being a racist. Man, I no. see that you can't handle it. You think oh, there we go. Before you even before you even step up to him. All right. So I'm an imperfect human being saying this. Imagine when you stand before God. All right, so Ari, Alex, you had your opportunity. You cannot come in here no more. And in closing, we are going to listen to his so-called diss track that he did that I think has a catchy beat, but the lyrics, they don't do it for me as far as insulting people. You understand what I'm saying? There, 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 are, better, there are better ways you can go about dissing uh, someone. All right, let's see if I even have this up here, by the way. Oh, and I'm actually looking at the live chat over here, too. Apparently, Alex didn't even make that meme. So, not only, uh, yeah, this is, this is a little embarrassing. And then turn around and, uh, you know, Megalite Master up here definitely pointed out something there that, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm assuming Megalite Master is referring to Shani because, you know, she's actually racist. Uh, But yeah. Anyways, this diss track, I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and let it play. But uh, I'm gonna say, uh, Alex, if, if you wrote this, uh, don't get me wrong. I respect the I respect the lyrics. This was like 16th century bardic dissing. Okay, I mean, this was like something that you would see on epic rap battles of history. Which is the reason why I find it hilarious. I also find it absolutely hilarious that it's actually a string of insults that G-Man just doesn't understand. Well, here we go. Hi, Ray Alex. Rest in peace, buddy. You're done. All right, then. G-Man. <laughs> Come on, then. Man. Let's have it, son. Come on, come on. I rake it's in the name and let this show I go play games. I'll take you in a battle which I promise you can't handle. So let me take this slow. You can't understand this flow.
Uh, sorry about that. My roommate just walked in. Uh, <laughs> if you want to come over here real quick. Okay. This is my buddy. He's uh, a little camera shy, but he's, uh, there he is. Uh, you, you've seen a few things about G-Man. You're Christian. A little bit. Yeah. Is he? Um, I mean, I can't judge anybody's religion, but or form of beliefs or anything like that, because personally, I'm a non-biased person, and I believe everybody's going to have their own beliefs, regardless. Okay. But okay, but but based on that, based, what's your opinion of this? Case? Based on what a lot of the things that he says and a lot of the uh, backtracking and then hypocrisy and whatnot. I mean, it's in all honesty, it's not really showing. His Christianity to his fellow viewers. He's more or less kind of, uh, I, mean, I hate to put it this way, but he sounds like a child that's whining a lot, really. I mean, he's kind of, anyways. <laughs> Spare the rod, spoil the child. He should have probably got a little rod at one point. <laughs> Oh, gee, man, I really hope you see that part. That, that was my, that, that was the, the, the Christian roommate that I'm, uh, you know, that, that I'm putting up until he finds a place of his own, because, yeah. Yeah. We also helped him get a job and a car. But, you know, us, us evil atheists, yep, we can't be good people, can we? Anyways. Somebody tell this who's a Google and Ricky on the smart users. The 40 year old virgin roll. G Man, this is your show. This shit is such a giggle. Come on, toys, let's solve this riddle. Maybe us, one and all. Gather around to hit a righteous call. G Man is here to judge us all. Win his quarter, no, it's all. That's not acting like a fanny as big as Shirley Shanny. Come on, there's fans to take it. You're gonna fake it, but you make it. Your debating skills is down a low. Yeah, you do flip like a pro. I'll admit to run a funny skit. When I see that you can't handle it. You think you call me red. You're not quite right in the head. In your courtroom, I object. Cause your stupid rhetoric had me dead. Some bully you think I am. Well, that's really quite the stretch. Use the kid's explanation video. In your new court, I'm suddenly wear. So in short, I will explain that there really is no game. Are no match for me, which to be pretty, mate, it's, it's actually a shame. Yeah, you try to bring the battle in which I in that battle this track. It's just a huge farewell to G Man's rats and well. Now, stop. So, anyway, so, so, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, right? So, so, so he cut it off about a minute shy, but uh, yeah, uh, per Alex, uh, yeah. He, you you're you sound like a great guy, honestly. Uh, yeah, but you should have used smaller words because they apparently that's what got them. Words were too big. Uh, I, I'm not going through this whole two and a half hour thing. I mean, I'm already over an hour myself. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let Drag do his review of this in the morning. I'm pretty sure he's going to. Uh, I'm going to point out, though, that he puts himself on the docket uh, here shortly. Let me uh, see if I can find it. I will not be responding to that. Now, here's the thing about Kyle, and I hope Kyle sees. Okay, I believe Kyle. by doing that, you guys will come down to earth and remember just how disgusting their kids, or you better not tease their kids, or they might go atheist on you. They might go eight beat on you. <laughs> the earth, and no matter how. Oh, and they oh please God. in their sick, twisted little world, you ladies and gents. 
Where now that? we can understand a lot of the political views. I'm not saying all of them got the same political views, although I believe a lot of things on that list, these atheists actually hold to. We'll do a hangout on that one day, and I'll prove that they actually do, that they're against capitalism, that a lot of them uh, are, are, are really against the fabric of our country, and they want to completely destroy it. That's why they don't believe there's anything wrong with teasing and bull- cyberbullying. It's a normal thing to them, except you better not cyberbully their kids, or you better not tease their kids, or... They might go atheist on you. They might go ape on you. <laughs> they might go with that on you if you mess with their kids. Okay. Uh, considering there are two channels, I believe, that uh, that go by the name of, you know, or that are related to uh, apes uh, that G-Man has dealt with, which is uh, mine and Erica's. Uh, or guts it given and you know carnivorous ape. Uh, fairly certain, fairly certain that was a shot at us. I mean, not necessarily in particular, or you know, if so, it was probably more towards Erica because she's a lot more popular than I am. Um, I, I'm a nobody, but at the same time, that right there was a weird shot in the dark, and yeah, he's. <laughs> and once again, he did, he you know builds up this straw man and then just kind of like throws it around. But they can do it to anybody they please, and they're a sick, twisted little worldview, ladies and gents. Sick, twisted worldview. Yeah, because he actually knows what our worldview is, apparently, which uh, he's demonstrated numerous times that he has no freaking clue what our worldview is. So that's always fun. You know, nothing like being misrepresented on the internet or anywhere. But, you know. I mean, I wish I could go back to some of these old dockets, but I can't. So I got to actually move on. And we're going to go to Brother Vesco. Cases, cases. They are no longer on the docket if you have to refer to them as old dockets. You would have to go back to the old cases. Oh, let's use a Christian here for a moment. Yeah, don't really care about Veckel. Veckel, ladies and gents. Since me and Veckel, well, let's just use Veckel here, then I use myself. There we go. Since Veckel has fallen short of the glory of God. Let's skip past Veckel. Called him a loser and said he went last six months, even though I was right. Um, I call Richard Dawkins the devil. Let me see something here. You know, people don't call people names on here. I said some things about Jade that a lot of people didn't like. I mean, you know. I, I, I've done a lot of horrible things, and you want to know what, ladies and gentlemen? G-Man, how do you plead? I plead guilty, Your Honor. Okay. By the order of this court, G-Man, you are a horrible person. You are not a good person. However, G-Man, you are, just like Veckel and all these other uh, Bible-believing Christians, are imputed with the righteousness of God. You are holy, okay? You are set apart from this godless world, and you unlike these other people, are going to have eternal life. Okay? Yeah, because an eternity of worshiping God is awesome, apparently. So, anyways, uh, that was what I was really wanting to do right there. G-Man proclaims himself a horrible person and then proceeds to, uh, at the very beginning of this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to that now because of the uh, lack of audio that I was catching on my phone. Uh-oh. 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 Some new dockets, and we are definitely going. Thank you. I'm not mute. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to GTV. I, I'm sorry. Well, welcome to the GTV Network. I am G G Man, your host. And today, we are going to continue with the free trials, ladies and gents, uh, where we attack this idea where atheists believe that they are good people, and everyone who doesn't agree with them is not. So we are actually going to uh, have a good time today. We're going to go over some old dockets, go over some new dockets, and we are definitely going to expose these clowns on the internet that like to go around calling other people immoral. I have to warn you people uh, today, if you're watching this, this little thing that we're going to be doing today may make you a little bit sensitive. However, unlike some of these other trolls on YouTube that don't take conversation seriously, uh, I will actually give you an opportunity to come in the room and actually defend yourself. Because at the end of the day, some of us actually do have manners and some of us actually will. Some of us actually do follow the word of God. So 
Uh, I have, will have no problem whatsoever letting you come to defend yourself, but the same rules are going to be just like last week, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Uh, if you come in this room and the docket is on apples, you're talking about apples. You bring up pears, bananas, you bring up anything else, I'm kicking you out or I'm broadcasting you. So if I'm asking you to defend apples, you will be able to remain broadcasted and have a, a wonderful opportunity trying to defend yourself. Of course, I am going to use both Christian theology as well as your atheistic worldview to determine whether or not a person is a good person. Okay? And, and I personally believe only good people can go around constantly calling people horrible people all the time. Okay, that right there. Hold on just a second. Let's see here. Seven. Let's go 706. I'm going to replay that okay. one more time. And, and I personally believe only good people can go around constantly calling people horrible people all the time. Not okay, so point of the matter is well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short real quick. Uh, yeah. G-Man proclaims himself a horrible person and then at the very beginning of this thing claims that uh, good people are only good people can go around claiming that horrible uh, that people are horrible all the time. So this invalidates his entire argument right there. And he has no idea. I mean, G-Man, you need a script, dude, seriously, because when you say crap like this at the beginning of your thing and then you turn around and say you're a horrible person at the in the middle of your thing. It's you're a little loopy, dude. You need to you need help, uh, either help scripting or just some uh, a psychiatrist would be preferable because that's something you really need. But I am going to go ahead and edit here. Uh, yeah, that's our Mario at over an hour. Uh, Gmail, if you ever want to talk, uh, let me know. Send me an email, whatever you want, or hell, I'll even send you another one because uh, you've been ignoring mine. Uh, and we'll see about talking on my channel because I won't be muting you or unbroadcasting you. Uh, if you think you can handle that, then that's just fine. Uh, and then I will more than happily give you a copy of it and you can post it to your channel. But it'll be live streamed on my channel. And I really hope that... Uh, you at least figure out what the heck you're talk, trying to talk about because uh, stuff like this is really annoying. Uh, but I am definitely going to go ahead and uh, say, well, 3.30 in the morning, so I'm going to say good morning, folks. And I'm going to go ahead and get some shut eyes so I can get up and uh, take care of my kids in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Question everything, eat meat. It's good for you.